Scott with some environmental solutions here. And if you've lived in Virginia for any time at all, you've probably seen one of these guys. And what we got here is the raccoon. Procyon loader is the scientific name. And this is probably, in addition to the squirrel, the number one nuisance wildlife species that we deal with in any area of the United States. But especially where we are in Northern Virginia, raccoons are a big problem when it comes to animal or wildlife and human conflict, these guys are at the top of the list with squirrels. They get into attics all the time. They rampage through attics. They do a tremendous amount of damage. They live in chimneys. They get into your garbage. They do all kinds of fun stuff. A lot of times we'll get calls to go ahead and extract them, get them out, and we do it through the means of the live trap. And we can see in this live trap, we've got a small raccoon. This is not a big guy. This is a sub-adult. He's not a, an adult by any stretch, but he's uh, too big to handle with the hands. Even if you've got animal gauntlets like this, really heavy elk hide or Kev Kevlar lined. Uh, you could probably handle it with this guy, but he might actually breach it and then you got a problem. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to transfer them from one trap to another trap in case you ever have to. If you've got them in one trap, you need to move them to another trap. And so we'll go ahead, we'll put one trap that we wanna transfer him down. This trap's old and beat up and dirty right now. So we're gonna go ahead and actually transfer him from one trap to another trap. And I'll show you how to do that. Switch here. Go ahead. Come on, buddy. And there we go. There's our filling right there. Okay. All right. Control stick. Okay, it's a spring loaded animal restraint device, does not harm the animal. You can go ahead and tighten up the noose. Not so much that you actually choke the animal out, but enough that you get a firm grip on them. Then when you release them, you pull back this little thing right here and it releases the loop, okay? Nice and rubber here, so when he starts to bite and grab, he doesn't hurt his teeth like he would on this metal. That's why this is rubber right here, coated with plastic so that the cable doesn't hurt him. Very humane, does not harm the animal. And as you can see, if I just put him in the trap with this, he's just fine. Mm -hmm. 